Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Now, in the advent of the Blender 4.0 update, you've probably noticed a few changes to the way that weight painting works in regards to selecting uh, your weights. So I just want to clarify this for anyone that's struggling because I know at first I just wasn't sure what was going on. What we would do to be able to select weights uh, via the bones is we would select the object with the weights on it and the bones and we would make sure that the object with the weights on it was the active object so the lighter orange and we would then go into weight paint mode making sure that the bones and the object were both selected and then we would have access to the bones and what we would originally do is we would press control to select these individual bones however that has now changed so instead of pressing control you're going to be pressing control and shift so now that will give you the exact same uh, results. You can preview those weights of those particular bones uh, without having to go through this list at the top here. Uh, so instead of control now, it's control shift. This is quite a short video. It's just to kind of get you up to speed with this new update because I know a lot of people that are migrating to 4.0 might not realize that this has been changed. It's a small change. It's a little bit different, but it's still all working, it's still all there. Uh, you don't have to use any of the lock object modes or anything like that to switch between them. Just control shift will work perfectly fine. Now, if you're a new user to Blender or you're looking to tell stories with Blender and you're struggling with content and courses or learning by yourself, I do highly suggest that you head over to polyfable.com. It's a web resource that I've set up to help teach you the fundamentals and intermediary levels at this time of Blender and getting you up to speed for telling tales within this wondrous software. So I hope to see you over there. If not, thank you for watching and I really appreciate your support. And I hope that this video has been able to help you out with any problems that you've been having. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.